What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I'm re-recording this video because I thought the other video was kind of harsh. And I don't like to make super harsh videos. I, I re-watched it back and it's just not something that I thought um, was good for the SHIB community. Um, I like to stay uh, kind of calm in a lot of videos and a lot of situations to give you guys exactly what I'm feeling and not just have a ton of emotions expressed out on the screen. And, you know, I just try and give you more uh, of a calm personality. So anyways, in this video, we're talking about Shibirium, we're talking about Shiba Inu. And I mean, to be honest, we're talking about if Shibirium is real. Uh, so before we get started in this guys make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell for more videos like this one Also, if you guys want to check out some of the links down below you can check out those links uh, One of those links being for the Shiba Inu community If you want to join the Shiba Inu community and have those conversations with me with a lot of people Then feel free to join that community. We're looking to build up that community so we can have kind of a, a say in things that get done, right? so Anyways, I don't know if we will have a say in the ecosystem in that ecosystem that they have there, but let's talk about that. So if you know if you know Shiba Inu and you know the ecosystem, you know the community, you know that we're separate, right? We have Shiba Inu, and then we have every community that's built within, um, you know, the ecosystem or, I guess, the community, right? We have ecosystems uh, down the line, and we have one main ecosystem that we all focus on because they're doing all of these things, they're implementing things uh, to improve, I guess, the ecosystem itself, right? We're, I'm trying to mix words up and hopefully we're separating these in the right, the right places. So if they're building all of these things to help the ecosystem and not SHIB, um, or hopefully SHIB, it, it technically can find a way to benefit everything, right? So we understand that Shiba Inu's here, we understand that the different ecosystems that we build with the one main ecosystem is right there, right? They're both separate. And um, everything that the Shiba Inu ecosystem has built has not been truthful, right? Where we see um, some things that come out and say that it will support SHIB or it will improve the value of SHIB or we'll see it, um, you know, SHIB will skyrocket because of this. Um, it's not true, right? Um, we have bone, we have leash, we have shiboshis, we have land, we have uh, John Richmond, wellies, all of those things that could improve the ecosystem, but doesn't improve ship. Not necessarily, right? Um, you have a 3 million uh, follower Twitter page, which is really good, right? For pushing out a lot of the projects that you have in your ecosystem. Does it help SHIB? Not necessarily, right? So this is something that really worries me, you know, talking about the entire ecosystem. And I mentioned this in plenty of videos that the ecosystem and uh, Shiba Inu are separate, right? Um, so everything that they've built, where we're looking at um, them saying, hey, is this gonna burn SHIB? Well, there's a possibility right? They give us a little bit of hope, but then never deliver, right? A burn portal. That's great. You're able to burn Shiba Inu, right? You still have to pay fees for that. It's basically the same thing as if you take your Shiba Inu from your wallet, which could be a separate wallet or, um, you know, Coinbase or wherever it is, and you're sending it to the dead wallet. It's the same exact thing and probably the same price, maybe even cheaper on some exchanges. So, it's not necessarily changing anything. And they can say they they helped us burn so much. All they did was open the door for an easier way for people to burn um, because those people didn't know how to send it from wallet to wallet, right? If those people did know how to send it from wallet to wallet, they would have burned. People are still burning their own money. The devs didn't do anything or the breeds didn't do anything to show that they support burning, right? Didn't do anything. They've... Uh, built a burn portal, but they haven't burned anything themselves. There are people out there that have risked more money, that have burned more money trying to get these rewards that they have um, than they have risked, right? They haven't risked anything. They're collecting all of this money from everything that they're building. So let's leave that aside. Let's understand that they've built things that do not help out SHIB. But what we're here to talk about is Shibirium. 
Shibirium is supposed to be a platform, a layer two platform that's going to make everything faster, right? For Shiba Inu and for various positions, right? Um, so Shiba Inu should cost less, right? You'll pay less of a fee in order to buy SHIB and transfer SHIB, um, exchange ETH for SHIB, um, as well as have faster transaction times, which is really, really good. And also, there's a thought that we will have a burn mechanism within Shibirium. It's not confirmed or 100% confirmed and uh, definitely not confirmed what that percentage will be. It can be an insanely low percentage, like 0.01%, kind of like your, your bank and how they give you those percentages. Um, but we have that information of what Shibirium is. You know, it's a layer two platform that um, will utilize bone and leash, right? Um, and it seems as though every time we have anything that's really exciting for people, you know, Shibirium, and it's supposed to be primarily shib um focused it seems as though they always find a way to introduce something of theirs right into the pot it's kind of like where someone goes on a let's say a news channel or some sort of cable network show and they decide to plug their own product right and knowing damn well that they didn't pay for a spot or they didn't pay the the tv the network they didn't pay the show that they're on um to plug their product and the the show doesn't even support that product, but they plug their product anyways. It's kind of like that where Shiba Inu is the show and Bone is that extra product that people, I wouldn't say people don't care about. Some people do because they want to be in early and they want it to succeed because they are in early. I understand where you're coming from, but understand that the community cares more about SHIB. The 1.1 million holders or almost 1.2 million holders in Shiba Inu care about SHIB and not this overall ecosystem that's created. But um, I just want to show you guys something really quick and just get your opinion on where my head is with this, right? Shibirium, they keep saying is coming, right? I, I looked on Twitter, typed in Shibirium. Shibirium, they keep saying is coming. You know, it's going to be here. It's going to be here on in, in this time period. Uh, they don't give us an exact date. They don't give us the exact science behind it. I mean, obviously, we know the exact science, but I'm talking about the numbers of how much is going to burn, um, you know, what you're going to be able to fully accomplish on this, um, what the what the fees will look like. I mean, you probably can't. That'll vary from, um, you know, time to time, but they're not giving us all this information, right? What will run through Shibiria? Um, and mainly <laughs> the thing that we really want to focus on is uh, the amount that will be burned, right? The percentage, that's what we care about. Um, but what they have given us is what the platform looks like. Now, to be honest, to be frank, my name's Matt though. Um, I believe that you can create what's here anywhere that you want. You can literally create what is here on Microsoft Word or doing it on whiteboard. You can make it on anything that you want. You can do it in GIMP or in Photoshop and just post a picture of what it could look like without actually having a test site, without actually having it tested. I don't believe that Shibirium is real. Until it actually gets launched, I don't believe that it's real because I don't know what's going on. We don't have any type of updates. We just have, oh, well, Shibirium's coming. Is it? Are you sure? We don't know that, right? So my thought is that we don't actually have this platform and it's not to say that shib is dead without it it's not i just think that everything that they're trying to do if they do have this platform which there, there's a there's a chance that they still do have it it's probably like a 50 50 chance a toss-up um it's going to be heavy um on bone and less of a burn that we expected i i guarantee they're going to kind of uh, shit the bed for lack of a better term with this. Now I'm trying to be calm with this because the other video that I created was not good um, when it comes to the amount of calmness that flows through me. But um, I'm interested to see what Shibirium is and if it will be a game changer or not. Um, because it's only a game changer if it includes the things that improve Shiba Inu. If it doesn't improve Shiba Inu, it's not a game changer. Right? Yes, you're gonna the whole purpose of it is to have less fees, is to have faster transaction times. But for us, 
the whole purpose is not only that, but also to burn Shiba Inu, to decrease the supply. If you're making or um, not forcing or, or making, but um, kind of, uh, you know, telling people, hey, this will be a better place to uh, buy your Shiba Inu or invest in Shiba Inu because it costs less, right? Then we should have some sort of burning method if people are migrating over from other platforms, from exchanges and all that stuff. It makes sense if they're over here and um, have that little feed where we can burn off Shiba Inu. But that's just me, right? That's just me. I don't know if anybody else thinks the same way. I want to see Shibirium succeed. I want to see Shiba Inu succeed. But um, it's just rubbing me the wrong way. Everything that they're doing is rubbing me the wrong way. I don't know. You let me know. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to uh, you know, subscribe, uh, to any of my other channels, feel free to subscribe to those as well as follow me on Twitter at Perry 8K. I'm going to get out of here, guys, at risk of saying something else that may be harsh to the community. Um, I will catch you guys in the next video.